We get a lot of questions here at MRP, and I figured one of the questions we get almost every single day is about pistons. Dealers get a bike, they don't recognize the name, they don't see the chart. So I was going to blog about that a little bit before uh, I got the last call, and my dealer was asking me about how to identify the piston. Well, usually you have to look at the brand name. If you can't figure out the brand name, then the engine number or the engine style. There's a lot of European brands that a lot of um, rental shops or smaller mom and pop shops are not familiar with, like Beta, Benelli, Italjet. They might be a little bit older than what most people are familiar with. The most, the most common question is the Jog, Yamaha, Minrelli. I'm going to talk about that a little bit right now. And there's two types. There's the 12 millimeter, which you see here on the left, and the 10 millimeter. It's pretty obvious if you open up the bike and you take out the piston, you should be able to tell by using a caliper and by measuring the diameter of the piston pin. And you'll see right there, that's 12. Now, the other version has a 10, this one right here. So, and you can also look at the, the hole that it goes through on the piston and figure out, hey, that's a 12, this is a 10. But what happens is that, what the confusing part, is that you could get a CPI uh, or an MUZ scooter that was made in 2003, and the 2003 version will have the 10 millimeter, and the 2003 version later on, or 2004 version, has the 12. And that is very, very common throughout the manufacturing world. Uh, back in 2003, 2004, a lot of the Chinese manufacturers started changing to the 12, and then eventually their CPI or their uh, Eton, uh, any of the uh, Taiwanese brands such as Adley, started changing to the 12 as well. So this happened throughout the industry. It was something that happened everywhere. Um, all the Chinese and Taiwanese started switching to the 12. However, the 10 is still extremely popular. Why is it popular? Well, older Benelli's and Betas that were imported from Europe, such as Italjet, Malagutis, Aprilias that were carbureted, they all have the 10, and they continue to use the 10 in Europe. Uh, newer models, uh, newer Benelli's that are being made by Chang Yang use the 12. So when it comes to the jog, you're going to get either the 12 or the 10. It's good to have both in stock at the store. We highly recommend you always have both, especially if you're a rental shop. You should have both in stock. Now, there's other pistons that we're going to talk about, the QMB-139 that comes in both 39, 40, 41. Um, there is the uh, Franco Marini Suzuki Hyosung TGB, which we also sell here at MRP. That's an extremely common two-stroke uh, piston. And the Kingi, which is really in the low end of the low end brands out there, the Chinji uh, piston. We have those as well in stock here at MRP. So if you have trouble finding the correct piston or the correct piston size, we can give you some recommendations. And that's our advice. Stock them all. If you're doing a lot of repairs and you're doing a lot of two-stroke repairs, be it a TGB brand um, or Hyosung, then you need to stock those Franco Marini pistons. If you're doing a lot of jog two-strokes, you should stock both the 12 and the 10 millimeter pistons. Uh, I would stock them in several different sizes, such as the 41 millimeter, the 40 millimeter. Sometimes you don't have to buy or force your client to buy a whole new jog, a new cylinder kit. If they have a 40 millimeter piston, you can bore it out and give them a 41 millimeter piston. MRP sells both. We have 40 millimeter jog pistons. We have 41 millimeter jog pistons. We have 47, 48, 52, and 54. Now the 52 and the 54 are the 90cc, 100cc jog cylinder kits, and these are upgrades. But if you have a 40 millimeter cylinder that's damaged or scratched, you can always just upgrade it to a 41. Or if you have a boring equipment or um, a Dremel and you can fix that, then it's easier just to sell them a piston. A lot of people don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a racing cylinder kit. Sometimes that's the solution. We sell both. We have the 40, the 41, and 10. We have the 40, the 41, and 12. Let us know what your needs are, and we'll help you out as best we can. All right, guys? I hope that answers your questions.